we just came back from the honey hole and we've got uh shoot ton and a half of, of hogs these are some big hogs they're always hard to tell how big they are on uh on video but these are some big hogs one two three four five six seven eight nine There's another one over and one over there around the corner makes ten and that's just in a couple hours so what what happened down there you guys were hunting in the southeast corner southeast corner we're actually posted up on that live trap I had our back to the corner i had shot this big one right here big brown one yeah 50 yards 60 yards out and after you know it dropped him pretty fast so after about five minutes we walked up to him left our guns sitting there stupid as it is sitting on the trap walked up and when we did we hear crashing behind us turn around the next big one laying next to him was coming behind us he's about halfway between us and that live trap well i ran to that live trap to grab my gun and when i did he came around the corner and as i dove over he was on my leg i grabbed the uh glock 27 40 with some r.i.p rounds one shot in the neck dropped him and my buddy walked over and finished him up with a uh 10 millimeter well that's when uh there was plenty of honey flowing in a honey hole today. there was honey flowing in the honey hole today there was plenty of honey flowing <laughs> i like in the that honey hole. i'll tell you this i like that when this hog was shot the second one there was 25 hogs at least around us at that point well uh did you run out of bullets or, or no no we just didn't you know we didn't necessarily shoot all of them <laughs> wanted to save some for some of the other people oh they were all in that corner the honey was flowing in the, the honey, honey hole. Flowing in the honey hole. All right, well, we're gonna go get us a quick bite of lunch, and then we're gonna head back down to the honey hole and see what else we can pull out of there. Good job, guys. Thank you. All right. So we shot a big hog while we were down in the honey hole. We're standing there looking at it, set our guns down, and right as we were turning around, we saw another big hog. Ran back to where our guns were, and luckily we got there in fast enough time to jump over and put him down with pistols. Very exciting and scary, and glad I'm here to tell the story about it. Did they uh, get pretty close to you? Yes, sir. Hey, he grazed my leg a little bit. Uh, at least I think he did. It was, the heart was pumping and everything else. But... So you, that's that's uh, when you realize every second counts. <laughs> yes, sir. And like I said earlier, moral stories never don't ever set your gun down. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> because that's when you're going to need it most. Yeah, so. But... Uh, so what'd you end up shooting down there? How many? Uh, we got five. We got two big boars, a big sow, and a couple of piglets. Well, that's going to fill the freezer. Yes, I'm very excited about that. Well, we're Brisket have... tacos and everything else. We're going to have a quick bite here, and then we're going to get back down there and shoot us some more. Do it again.